All right, today we're going to teach the art of the jab. The jab is an effective tool in boxing and in street fighting. Not that we're getting in any street fights, but you know, when you first start fighting or start boxing, you're just, I'm left handed, but you're probably right handed. All you're going to want to do is punch with your right hand. You got to train yourself to always want to punch with, punch with your right, because I'm left handed. It'd be the other way around if you're right handed. But I'm so trained that I always want to leave with my right, always want to leave with my right. And then, you know, the left is the power punch. The jab's important. Because you want to hold the bigger guy off, you know, you want to pick him apart, you want to, you know, if the dude is, is quick, you can kind of get him in a corner with your jab, and if you're boxing, you can score points with your jab. So the proper way to do it, right, show my legs. you got to have strong legs. Some people do, some people don't. That'd be me. So, you know, you sit in, in a 60-40, you know, a 65-35, whatever, and you start like this. You want to make sure you guard your ribs and guard your chin. Always keep your hands high. Come up with the jab like this. Bring it right back. See how I step into a little? You know, you want the, the pros or someone that's real good, if you snap your jab at the end, you don't want to do it right away because you're going to fuck your wrists up. But it, once you learn how to do it, at the end of your jab, you snap it like this, you twist it so you can cut the guy. So it's like, bam! And you know, 95% of the power of your punch comes right, right at, the end of the, at the end of the snap. So always want to pull your jab right back. You don't hit it and come down. Because you'll get smashed. You'll get your jaw broken. Right here is your equilibrium. That's when you get hit right there. That's what knocks you out. It separates your jaw. That's why you just want to keep it tight. So when you're throwing the jab, right, you go like this. Notice my shoulder. It's covering my chin. It's a natural armor. It's a natural. And I come right back. And then, the, you know, the jab sets up the big one, you know. You hit him first with the jab. He's like, ah, oh, then you just come in for the kill, you know. Remember, always pull it right back, pull it right back, pull it right back, pull it right back. To practice keeping your hands up, you can use one of these. These are three pounds each. They got sand in them. So when you run, or when you do whatever, just keep them, you know, this is heavy. I'll tell you what, these things, I run in the city a lot. I run through the bad neighborhoods, right? Sometimes you got to fight. I don't ever have to fight, but sometimes if you do, you don't want brass knuckles, because I got arrested for brass knuckles. Brass knuckles are bad news. These things, if you hit somebody with these things, you're going to kill them. This is pure sand, so it's just for protection only, because, you know, sometimes you're going through the hood in the mission. You know, like the Mexican gangs out there, because with the Mexicans, you don't fight the bean. You got to fight the whole burrito. So I might have to go into Tito Kung Fu. I'm allowed to make fun of Mexicans. I'm allowed to make fun of everybody, because I don't give a fuck, so whatever. But, uh... That's how you throw a jab. This is how you practice. Keep it in the ring. Don't go on the street starting fights and stuff like that. But know how to protect yourself, man. So that's how you throw a jab. Sets it up for everything else. Tips with Tito. I'm Team Tito. We throw jabs.